Hello, in this video, I'm taking a look at my new favorite way of cloning and migrating WordPress websites. It's with the help of a plugin and service called Migrate Guru, which is entirely free and available from the WordPress repository. For over a decade now, I've been using the same premium tools and I must have done hundreds of migrations and I've been relatively happy. Backup Buddy has been my main tool and it's only on the rare occasion that I've needed to manually intervene. And with larger sites, I've tended to use a plugin called Duplicator. Both of these are great. Only recently I hit upon a problem where a client who used to self-manage decided to come over to our hosting and care. And for two days, I could just not move their site. The hosting would not allow me to download the whole site in its entirety. And I tried a number of different tools out there, friends of mine who have premium versions of their tools. None of them would work. I thought I was going to need to piece this together manually myself. Then I discovered my great guru and it went through straight away it was painless it was quick it was a nice experience and it worked because it was using their server resources to transport the site since then I've used it a dozen times and I just think it's a really generous offer from the people behind blog vault and malcare too to allow us to use their server resources with no charge to us anyway before I come off camera let me say I'm David Wormsley I've been building client websites with WordPress since about 2007 and these days I try and share what I've learned along the way I'd be very happy if you decided to click on the red subscribe button below anyway let's get started this is my great guru's entry on the WordPress repository. It is a plugin that gets regularly updated and it has pretty good user reviews. Also, surprisingly, it has a high number of active installations over 50,000. This is a plugin that you can install to migrate and clone and then delete when you're finished with it. Of course, you need to install it on the site that you're cloning. And of course, it will clone this plugin too. So I'm guessing the numbers relate to the number of of people who leave it on both sites active. Anyway, let's go over the top features. It's a one-click migration tool and it moves things fast. It will clone one GB sites in under 30 minutes. That's certainly true of my experience. These are the two features that I think are key to me. There's no overload on site. Everything is transferred and migrated through their server so it can't crash your site. And it's built for large sites as well. It will move and clone sites as large as 200 gigabytes and this is something I've seen has been a bit of an issue with some of the cloning tools that are out there there's no need for any extra add-ons it will take care of your serialized data there's no storage space required because it's sucking everything up to their servers and then spitting them out to yours at the very end it doesn't keep a backup and it raises the copy that they've kept if you're someone who's worried about the smaller details of GDPR and are concerned about moving moving data around through various different servers, then you might want to check out fully their terms and conditions. But I can't see there being an issue and I haven't worried about that. It will work on every web host. It's fully automatic and it's got built-in search and replace. So it will change all your URLs. I've never had an issue which I've had when I've put a security certificate on other sites later where I get mixed content, where some of the images have not been turned into HTTPS. Those are issues I haven't seen and I think WordPress is kind of taking care of those issues these days. There are a couple of things that it can't do if you're working with local host, you're building it on your own computer, then you can't migrate sites from there. And although you can migrate large multi-site networks, you can't do sub-sites within that network. There is another thing to point out as well to stop abuse. There is a limit of five site migrations per user per month. You can request an extension and I'm probably sure that the user relates to the email address you give them so if you needed a sixth move in the month you could probably just use another email address okay let's talk about what we're going to do for the rest of this video so I have my personal blog davidwarmsey.com and it looks terrible I don't put too much up here but it really does need a redesign I've already used my great guru to move this from my UK server to my US server and that was really easy if I just want to move the same domain and I'll talk a little bit about that but in this case what I'm going to do is I'm going to clone a copy of this site 
onto a subdomain on my other server so I can do some work on it and then I shall just migrate again. So what I would do first is I would go to my site and in the back end I would install the plugin of course and then when I do that I should see something like this where it's going to ask me to put in my email address and agree to the terms and conditions. So if you're concerned about GDPR then check these out. There's a video over here and really that's all I need to say on this it will send you an email to say that the migration has started it will send you another when it's finished and tell you how much has been moved and give you links so it's quite handy there of course you are agreeing for them to send you promotional stuff but they don't seem to have abused that at all. In fact, I think I've only had one email that came later, which was just saying that there's a free trial on Blog Vault. If you wanted to try that, that's their backup service and also giving a discount. It's a pretty good service. So I've got no problem and I could just unsubscribe if it is a problem to me. So let's move on to the next screen here, which should show me all the different hosts that it supports here. Now, even if I was using any of these, which I aren't, I would probably just go for this FTP option because that's going to work on every server really. And it includes SFTP, which is the one that I'm going to need to use for mine. Let me just mention here, if you are just migrating to the same domain name, even though this is installed on that domain name, you can still place it in here because it's going to find where to put the site based on your IP for your server and also your directory path to that. So you don't need to worry about that. You can just move hosting if you want with the same domain. And this does work differently to most. In most cases, you need to set up a folder on your new server and move everything to that. With Migrate Guru, you need to set up another install of WordPress and it kind of takes over that. So that's what I've done in this case. Let me go over to my next tab where I'm in where my DNS is. So I'm with DigitalOcean and my DNS has been moved over to them for davidwarmsey.com. And what I've done here is that I've set up a subdomain which I've called Guts or Goots because I'm going to be playing around with Gutenberg for this. So that's what I've got. And I've got that going to my UK server. And that's pretty much all I need to do. So that's already in place. And if I go over to Server Pilot, which is managing my server. I can and I have already set up a new app which I've installed with one click WordPress so the defaults so most of the services out there will allow you to do something like that in this particular case I've actually put on the one click security certificate as well so as you can see here it's going to this domain if I was doing a straight transfer of my domain to somewhere else, I wouldn't be adding this on at this point. I would need for it to propagate before I could probably do that, but I have in this particular case. So let's just go and take a look at the site that is created, and here it is. So it's just a vanilla install of WordPress. Now, another little tip if you are moving hosts with the same domain name, it can be difficult while things are propagating to know when you're logging into your site, whether you're still logging into it on the old server or the new server. So as I've got one is one click solutions and it puts in for me by default a Kismet and Hello Dolly, which I've deleted from my other site. I leave these in place here so I can spot which one I've gone into. This is going to be there and it wouldn't be unless I'm in the migrated one. I wouldn't see these. I hope that makes sense. OK, let's go back now and put in the details that we'll need to put in here so in this case I am taking this domain name so I'm going to just go and copy this over to here and I'll need to put in my server address which you saw earlier but I'm just going to put that in this is optional it's usually 22 I'll put that in I don't normally bother with that and I've needed to go and find my path which I know with this particular server, it's going to be different. It's probably the most tricky bit for most people to find. I mean, I can find it pretty easy by just going into my FTP and seeing where I've put in my install of WordPress, the one that I've created, and just copying that through to there. And then I'll need my other details, which is my FTP on that server, 
my username and my password I'm going to put in. And that is all I fill in. I really don't know about these, so I'm not going to cover them. And all being well, I should be able to click on the migrate. And I don't want to save that. And we should start doing things. So it's telling me here that it's going to migrate from here to here. And at this point, it should have probably sent me an email to say that's starting off. And usually I can just go and do something else, which I think I will do. I'm going to pause this and come back to it. I'll just unpause for a while so you can see that there is some progress being measured over here. We can see 69 tables it's picked up on and 300 megabytes of files. It's probably been about 15 minutes now and it's got to this point. If we go over to the site, nothing is happening at all until we get to the last stage when we're actually migrating. And I did get my email as well telling me that the process has just started. In fact, maybe I can just hold on for a moment because it looks like the migration started. Let's go and check the site, see if anything is changing here. Nope, not at all. Let's just go back again. I think I'll pause and wait until we get to the end there. And we're back and it's finished its migration. It's changed the screen over here. And if I go back to the page, I've just refreshed this earlier and all is working. If I go into the back end, which I've been kicked out of and give this a refresh, I should see the things that I normally expect to see in the back end. Let's just go back into there. There's all of the stuff that I would normally have in there. So a successful migration and then I can just delete the plugin and that's done. Anyway, I think that concludes my video. I think Migrate Guru is an excellent tool and I encourage you to try it out for yourselves. If you found this video useful, then please give me a thumbs up on YouTube and consider subscribing to the channel. Hope to see you in another video. Thanks for your time. Bye bye.